Hi, it's Fabrice from ASAC. In this video, I will show you how to deploy a small network of Lightning nodes on your machine. I will assume that you have downloaded Bitcoin Core, our own uh, Eclair node, which is av available on our GitHub website, and that you have installed Java. The first uh, thing to do is to start um, Bitcoin in reg test mode. It starts empty, it just has its genesis block, and now we need to activate SegWit. To do this, we need to generate 500 blocks. It will make us rich. We now have uh, 12,000 bitcoins. And it will activate SegWit. You can check it with. get blockchain info command segwit is now active so uh, I will assume that you have downloaded our jar or compile it yourself so we can just char start it like this and we will specify a directory because we want to be able to run uh, multiple nodes at the same time So what is happening is we now have an node running. It's connected to our Bitcoin core and it is idle. It's waiting for instructions. So what I've done is I've created three directories with uh, three configuration files uh, that give our nodes different ports so that uh, they won't be listening to the same port. They can be started at the same time. So I will now start Another node. And a third one. So we now have three idle nodes waiting to be connected. Each node is identified by its public key. We use uh, public keys as identifier. To connect to um, a node, you need to know its public key and its address. Uh, so the, the URI for a node is a combination of public key address and ports. So if you right click on a node ID you can get its URI which I'll use to connect this node to this one. We'll create so the, the URI is actually pubkey at address port. So I'll create a channel of 10 milli bitcoins. What just happened is we see that a transaction has been published to the Bitcoin blockchain. That's the funding transaction. And it's it has not been confirmed yet. So our channels are not ready. They're waiting for the funding transaction to be confirmed. So this is something you can just do manually. We use uh, three confirmations in test mode, but uh, on mainnet it's, it's uh, much better to use six. It's safer. So now my funding transaction has been confirmed three times and my channel is ready. But you see that the nodes are not yet aware of each other. It's because uh, Lightning uses a simple broadcast mechanism for announcing nodes and nodes are announced only when the funding transaction has been buried deeply enough so that there's no chance um, of a fork that would uh, cancel it. So if I generate 
three more blocks. My nodes will broadcast the, the, the nodes and channels they're aware of to their neighbors. So we see now that they, all, they are both aware of each other and they've both published that there is one channel available. So now I will connect this node to this one. So I'll do the same, copy its URI, create a channel of 10 milli bitcoins, and again it, it, is, it has published a funding transaction and it's waiting for the transactions to be confirmed. We can also see that when it connected to the other peer, it's um, received the list of available nodes and channels. So even if its own channel is not ready yet, it knows, it's aware of uh, two other uh, uh, lightning nodes, and it knows that there is already one channel that is available. So now I will confirm the funding transaction. My channel is now ready, and I will confirm it three more times so that all nodes and channels can, can be announced on the network. So we now have three nodes that are aware of each other. So now I can pay and receive payments. So I will generate a payment request for one minute Bitcoin. A payment request is uh, basically a node ID, an amount, and a payment hash. And I will use that payment request, this is A, B, and C, to pay C through B. So what just happened is A has updated is its balance with B, and B has updated its balance with C. So A paid B and B paid C. Um, you can see that um, A lost a bit more than one Bitcoin. This is because B took a small fee to relay um, uh, the payment from A to C. I can do it again. One more milli Bitcoin. So what happens when a node uh, is disconnected? Let's just um, disconnect this one. We can see that its channel is now offline, which means it is not reachable anymore. It cannot be used. If I restart the node, I can reconnect it and it will switch back to normal and can be usable again. So now I will um, generate the payment request. I've node A generate a payment request and uh, C will pay A through B. So C uh, sends one, one millibitcoin to A. It is not back at nine millibitcoins because of the small fee that B took to transfer the payments. So all these exchanges happened off chain. So now what happen what what happens if I close a channel? Let's close uh, this one for example. We see that the channel is now in closing states and that's one more transaction has been published to the Bitcoin blockchain. We can see there. Since both nodes are connected to the same uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin node in, in Rector Smart, we can see that the, the outputs of um, the final transaction that gives almost uh, 10 million Bitcoin to one node and almost uh, nothing to the other one. 
uh, sorry, almost uh, yes, almost nothing to the other one. This transaction has not been confirmed yet, so that the channels are basically waiting for the funding for the closing transaction to be confirmed bef before they can be safely closed. So if I confirm it, our channel channels are now closed; they can't be used anymore, and B and C got their balance on the blockchain. There are many more tests you can do. You can see what happens when you use when you want to pay, and that uh, one of the nodes on the payment routes has not enough money to process the payments. You can try to disconnect nodes and see what happens. You could create many more nodes and create your own topology. So this is just a basic setup, but uh, it can be extended, and it's um, I think it's a good way of um, understanding how Lightning the Lightning Network uh, works and can be used. Thank you.